hey guys welcome back to the channel if you are a routine subscriber thank you so much for always tuning in and if you are new to this channel let's make this channel popular if you're not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for kindly click on that red subscribe button down below and also on the bell sign so you will be notified anytime i upload a new video so i'm sure you guys already know what you want to watch you've seen the title you've seen the thumbnail and you know exactly just what you're about to watch so this is the deal of the day this is the headline of what I want to talk about. Lizzo steals the show at Los Angeles Lakers game as she exposes her backside by twerking in tongue while courtside. So, let me just read out what is here before I talk about my own opinion on this. The Los Angeles Lakers beat the Minnesota Timberwolves in an offensive shutdown in Los Angeles, Angeles on Sunday night. Despite the massive output from world-class superstar, like LeBron James and Anthony Davis, the game became back page news to the antics of Lizzo, 31, who was sitting courtside. So this will actually happen. I'm also going to be sharing the video in between. Um, that, that's the video of her, you know, dancing, twerking, doing her stuff. But I'm going to mute it anyway because I, I don't just want a copyright strike from any, any angle and I don't want a claim from any angle. So this will happen. During a break in the action, why the Lakers girls were busting, you know, their moves to her eat tune juice, the singer rapper started dropping her own dance moves and in the process exposed, you know, her booty. And this is it. You know, the big reveal is that the rapper singer turned around during her exhibition to reveal her booty tongue and finest and finest lizzo stood up and broke into her dance move moment after the beat of her song kicked you know she was so excited she was really really excited if you watch the video you will see you know she was happy you know she stood up and she was like oh you know people um the the, the people performing dancing at her, at her music and she stood up and you know she just turned around and she was twerking and her boot was was outside now, from the look and sound of things, the crowd couldn't get off enough of her bomb-bearing antics, especially the ones seated around her, who were snapping photos and videos. So, turns out the pop star showed up to the game decked out in a black shirt dress that has a huge old cut out to review her, boot, her, her bottom assets. So, Lizzo has quickly become the talk of the social media. Like, it has spread like wildfire on Twitter, Instagram, like on everywhere. And it's, it's just on the World Wide Web. And a number of sources has reported that she did not get toes out of the arena for a revealing example. The strong stress began, to, began her career when she was living in Minneapolis, which, which eventually resulted in her first studio album, Lizzo Bangas in 2013. She gained massive mainstream success these past years with her third album called I Leave You, which peaked at number five on the Billboard 200. With a push from her two hit singles, Tempo and Juice, she has since been nominated for eight Grammy Awards for the upcoming ceremony that takes place back at the Lakers' home in Staple Center on January 26, 2020. So, to me, I think um, this is a huge, this is a huge mistake she has done. I think so. She, 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 only she could, you know, say the reason why she was stressed like that. And I think everybody's entitled to the way they want to dress, the way they want to look like, the way they want to be addressed. So, um, at this part of the world where I live, it's so difficult to really hundred percent like condemn what anybody feel like they want to wear but to that kind of an occasion where you know there are so many people and they are they are young you know children there also or i'm gonna say young adolescents let me put it that way i don't know if they are really minors there you know but they are adolescents there they are young teenagers there and you know this is um you know something that they've always been doing and all those stuff and these people that they are dancing to their music, these superstars that came there, that were present there, you know, are role models to some of those people. So how do you want to feel like, oh, people who are looking up to you, people who take you as their role model and they see you doing these kind of things. I know many people will not understand. I don't know if you guys are already seeing the video or maybe you're going to see it um, like very soon. 
so that you really understand what I'm talking about. It's not all about art twerking. That's not a problem. You can dance, you can twerk, you can do whatever you want to do. You know, you can choose whatever dance step you want to dance. But in that kind of a occasion, wearing that kind of dress to me, I think is really not nice. And she's not even feeling like, oh, she has done something bad. She's not even feeling bad about it because she has took to... to she has took to her Instagram, you know, to do a live video to talk about, you know, body shaming, to talk about being comfortable, to talk about, you know, being okay with the way she is. Like, she don't give a damn. She don't give a fuck. I'm also going to be dropping that video at the end, at the tail end of this one. So, you, for you guys who are interested to, to hear what she has said about the whole thing, you can just go there to watch it. And in case if this video is too long, I might just do a part one and a part two. Then afterwards, this video, I'm going to post um arrest like a reaction what she she actually feel about the whole thing like this is not nice when i saw the when i saw the um when i saw the picture you know of her boots when she was twerking you know people were even fast to take pictures i wonder how maybe they were already taking pictures before she turned around to to like twerk if not i wonder how they could be so fast like really damn fast to take that picture and if you guys watch the video well you will see that even the person in old, um, in old of the camera was quick enough, you know, the person tried as fast as possible. Immediately, he or she cited, you know, what was going on. The person tried to like, you know, flash the camera away from her. But, you know, the deed has already been done. This is not really nice. And um, many people have speak about their own opinion. To me, I think this is, this is the, <laughs> one of the craziest thing I've seen so far. Like, I put myself in her shoes if... I was to be her and I've done it in like this. Maybe she's got another thinking or another thing in her head when she dressed like that to the occasion. Okay, fine. But for the fact that, you know, she was overwhelmed, she was, you know, very happy, you know, that the girls were dancing to her song and, you know, she was dancing and before you know what happened, she turned around and um, show off her backside. You know, this is not really needed in an occasion like this. When you're going to maybe, I know, People go to the beach and put on pants and bra, yes. People walk in the street and during summer, you see them wearing very short, skimpy um, um, dress or skirt or shorts. Some even wear some shorts that look just like pants. And, you know, they feel good about it. And I don't care what, you know, what people wear. I wear what I want to wear. So they are free to wear what they want to wear as far as it's allowed. It's not a crime. You understand what I mean? But to a place like that, that's so bad. That is really so bad. That's what I think. I might be wrong anyway. You guys are entitled to your opinion. Drop a comment on what you think. Like, it's, I feel so, so sad about this. Like, I don't know if she's got children. I really don't know much about her on this, um, this scenario. You know, it's gone viral and I got to, to see it. I don't know if she has children or if she's planning to have children later. And how will, you know, how will they feel to hear this kind of a news? The thing is not she just showing her booty. It's not she, you know, just wearing, um bikini and to the beach or to wherever she want to wear it to but she in that kind of a place wearing this kind of a dress and you know exposing her body this doesn't speak well of her being a celebrity and all those stuff so um this is what i this is what i felt about this video i just decided i should i just decided to talk about it i don't know what you guys think about this drop a comment in the comment section on what you think about this this is all for today's video i'm gonna see you guys in my next one but before then stay blessed Peace. I'm a really solid, grounded person, and I know that I'm shocking because you've never seen in a long time a body like mine doing whatever it wants to do and dressing the way that it dresses and moving the way that it moves. Um, you know, but I don't ever want to censor myself because I'm suddenly famous or I don't want to censor myself because everyone's looking at me now. I'm not going to quiet myself. I'm not going to shrink myself <laughs> because somebody thinks that I'm not sexy to them. <laughs> Bitch, you really think because somebody on Twitter think that I'm not cute. I'm going to stop existing. <laughs>